Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a vehicle spawning GUI in Roblox Studio. First thing we are going to do is go to replicated storage and create a folder. Duplicate this folder so we have two. The first folder I want you to name RES, which is going to stand for remote events. In this folder, create a remote event and name it spawn. This is what is going to spawn the part that you want to spawn. It could be anything. It could be a car. It could be a part. It could be a house. In this case, we're going to just do a car, but it could really be anything. And then this folder is going to be named spawn part. In this folder, you're going to be putting the part that you want to spawn. Only put in one though, because I have not coded it to do more than one part. In here, we are going to go to toolbox and we're going to, I'm going to use this car. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to rename this part to car. It has to be spelled that way or it might not work. And I'm going to put it in the folder. Now we're going to create the GUI that spawns the car. Go to starter GUI and create a screen GUI and in there, create a text button. Now go to text. And I'm going to first change the font, text scaled, and text is going to be set to spawn. I'm going to add a UI corner just to be a little fancy, but you can do whatever you want. In here, we are going to insert a local script. It is important that it is a local script, as if it isn't, it will not work. And now, I want you to paste the script that I have linked in the description. It should be labeled as script1. Once pasted, I will explain what it means. So we get find the replicated storage, we find the remote events folder, and we find the remote event. And when you click the button, it fires the remote event. Now we are going to create a second script in server script service. And I want you to paste the script titled script two. This is going to be the script that spawns the car. So when a player joins, it finds the replicated storage, the remote events folder, and the uh, remote event. It finds the spawn parts folder, and then it finds the car in that folder here. So it, when the event is fired, then it creates a new car, which is just a clone of this car. Now, with this clone, it's going to find the player, and then it's going to make the clone par part of the workspace. And then it's going to move the car to your location. Let's test it and you'll see how it works. So right here, I'm right here. I click spawn. I can drive the car. I can get out of the car. Walk over here and I can spawn it here. And then I could spawn it here or here or here. And it essentially deletes itself every time I click spawn. So it doesn't spawn a million cars. That is it for today's video. Thank you for watching because I do put a lot of effort into these videos. Have a great day.